Hey everybody, this is Mia again with Her Southern Touch. Now today is Relax Saturday, so we're going to do just that. Relax. Now today I will be preparing fried fish, got me a little rice, kiwa rice, and brown mixed together. And I also have a fresh salad that I made. Now I need for you guys to like, subscribe, hit the bell, whatever it is you do. I'm new at this. So I need you to do all the above. So today we're going to get started with this video. It's going to be short and quick because I don't have a lot of time. I'm ready to eat. So here we go. We're going to wash our hands first. I can just get my camera lady to back off a minute. Everybody knows the procedure for washing hands. At least 15 seconds. Sing the happy birthday song. Happy birthday, okay? You carry on. Okay? Let's stop there. Okay, so today I have some fresh fish. Now I have fresh croaker. I also have fresh mullet. I also have fresh catfish. Don't think I'm going to do the catfish. Not too big on it. But family members are. So therefore, but on my list for frying, you can take a look. It's fresh croaker, fresh mullet. Now, all I did was took the seasonings that I liked. Whatever seasons you like, you season that with your fish. Preferably some fish seasoning. So any kind of seasoning, large seasoning, whatever you like. Put whatever you like on there. Garlic, garlic powder, parsley, whatever you like, put it on there. Now remember... My grease has been going for about 30 minutes, warming up, keeping it at the right temp. It's pretty hot. You have to make sure your grease is super hot to fry fresh fish, okay? So, I'm going to leave that here till we clean it up. I'm going to take a cup. Now, I don't fry like everybody else. I do it differently. I'm going to take one cup of flour. I'm going to dump it in this bag. I like doing it my way. Any grocery bag will do. Kmart bag, Kroger bag, whatever bag you got, it'll do. I got almost three cups of meal. I'm going to dump it in the bag as well. Now, I'm going to take the bags that I have for the fish. Now, this makes the fish taste pretty good. We're going to mix it up. want to make sure everything is blended. So, I'm going to take a fresh piece of this croaker. Love croaker. I'm going to drop it into the mix. I'm going to shake it up. Now, in order for you to make sure your grease is hot enough, always, you can either take a little drop of water, you hear talking to you like that, you know it's good and hot. Just a drop, people. We don't want to cause any fires. I'm going to take my bag. I'm going to place it here. Make sure that meal and flour has covered this fish thoroughly on both sides. Now, this is just my process of the way I do it. You can put your flour and meal or flour or whatever you like on your fish any way you like. This is just the way I prefer it. Again, we're going to take the fish out. I'm going to spread it across in a hot skillet. We're going to drop it. So we're going to let that fish cook on both sides. It's hot. Wash my hands again because I just touched fish. So while that cooks, I'm going to let my kiwa and brown rice cook. It doesn't take long. Now kiwa and brown rice, you can find this mix anywhere at your local store. I have a little butter added inside, and I have a little chicken base added inside. I like that for my own flavor. Now, you don't have to add anything if you don't like. You can add a little salt and black pepper if you like, but it's up to your taste, so you can do it your way. So we're going to let this warm. So I have a little water in here, not even a cup of water. Butter and chicken base. I want to make sure that it's seasoned to my liking. Okay, so we're going to let that cook. As soon as this fish is done, and as soon as this kiwa has cooked, we'll be back in three and three. Three minutes, three seconds, and we should be good to go. 
because my grease is popping hot. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to hit the bell. Again, this is your girl Mia coming from you, coming to you from her Southern Touch. Thanks.